So we're going to do a pitch and review. By the end of January, Laura and I are both going to read a book that one of us has chosen to read for the other person. So Laura can explain what I'm going to yep. read. So I chose Dear Daughter by Elizabeth Little for Elizabeth to read. <laughs> Elizabeth. Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> I just read it this past week. I mentioned it in another video. And my brother gave it to me for Christmas and it actually ended up being really good. It was a murder mystery novel and I think you'd like it because it's something that I don't think you've read much of but it was pretty good and there are parts of it that are interesting too because some of the story is told through little pages that are the transcript from a documentary or a TMZ blurb or part of a book so it's interesting because not all of it is just a linear storyline and there are some flashbacks and different parts and there's a lot of intrigue and people turn out to be different than who you thought they were and I think it was a really well woven together mystery. Yeah. So Dear Daughter is the story of this girl Jane Jenkins whose mother was killed and she was imprisoned for her death. So she's been in jail for 10 years and she gets out on a technicality because the crime lab who originally processed all of the data from the crime scene made a mistake. So she gets out because they overturned her case and she is trying to track down the real killer of her mother. But it's a little hard because she was a Paris Hilton type celebrity before. So obviously everyone knows her because it's this huge sensational story and it's in the news that she got out. So she tries to assume this disguise and eventually goes on the quest to find who her real mother's killer was. So that's what this is about. I'm very excited. <laughs> the book I've chosen for Laura to read is called The Game of Love and Death by Martha Brockenbro. I read this during the summer and I really liked it. I had some qualms about the book, but overall I thought it was good. I really liked the message. It wasn't necessarily what I was expecting. Every, I don't know if it's every century or every few hundred years, Love and death, their personifications of love and death, play a game with each other where they each choose someone um, who is supposed to fall in love with each other. And if they fall in love by a certain date and end up together, then love wins. But if they don't, then death wins. And so famous couples throughout the years, like Romeo and Juliet, um, Antony and Cleopatra, Cleopatra Helen um, and Paris, I think so, that? and uh, Guinevere and Lancelot. So during the 1930s, they choose two different people, Henry and Flora, and Flora's an African-American pilot, and Henry comes from a richer, upper-class family, if I remember correctly, and so it's basically about them. Um, they have, I think it's like a year by the time they meet to fall in love, and it's Henry and Flora's story about how they fell in love, and there are some things I wish this book had done that it didn't. Um, but overall I thought it was good and I think Laura will like it. I had another friend who read it and we discussed it. We both liked it ultimately. So if you guys have also read any of these books, feel free to comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us as well. We'll try to put out new videos every Thursday. <laughs> and take a look at all of our social media links down below in the little box in the description. Until next, next time. time. Bye! Bye. I always thought it was cool when you two did this. Okay. <laughs> da, 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 da.